Hob Nation. It's your boy Tom, and today we're doing a macro recorder video based off, as you see on my desktop here, let me put it where it's on white, uh, Woodomation. So this is a really cool automation program that I just randomly found. Uh, obviously the website for download will be in the description below. Oh, look at these little adorable keyboards. At least I think they're keyboards. Uh, but yeah, once you're on the website, uh, it's right here, Woodomation. Just click that. Um, it just has some information, including download. This is currently available on Windows and in Linux. Obviously, I'm on a Windows computer, so yeah. Once it's downloaded, you do get this little file uh, for install. It's a pretty standard install, so just run through that, and you'll end up with the actual application. So let's launch that. <clears throat> And don't forget to subscribe. I'm throwing videos like this out yeah, all the time. So one or two videos every week. There we go. All right. So I really like this one. Um, it's very clean, easy to use. I just like the color of it. Uh, something fun and interesting just to start off with our first collection here is uh, they seem to really like emojis uh, for some reason. So you can like change your collection. And at first I thought this was kind of weird. But then I realized it's a nice, easy way to kind of like real quick, uh, if you have like a bunch of different uh, collections, to see what you're looking at and uh, not have to read. So I did like that actually in the long run. So we can call this, well, let's call this like uh, work. So a collection could basically be like, uh, you can turn collections on and off right here, disable or enable. Uh, that's basically, you could have like a work mode, a gaming mode, uh, a YouTube mode. It's kind of just a nice way to organize uh, like a folder basically uh, so once we're done that you can always delete a collection uh, you can't delete it unless you have more than one because you have to have at least one uh, but you just simply push collection two, change the icon to whatever you want uh, stuff like that uh, so we could do like uh, uh, I thought I saw a robot there we go so you could name it like gaming and then you can turn that one off just if you only want this one to work. Uh, but we're going to click our first macro here. Uh, it talks about what kind of trigger keys you have. You can set up to four keys or a mouse button. Uh, trigger key is basically a hotkey. So if I press F1, perform whatever actions I'm trying to do. Uh, so you can push record. I'm going to push F1. There it is. You can obviously use uh, modifiers. So like shift F1 if you want to keep the regular F1 function there whatever you want to do to each his own but we'll stick with f1 keep it simple go ahead push set uh save you can name it up here we could call it uh test for youtube very simple and once again change the icons to whatever uh, poop emoji um, but yeah you can search for elements here um, but they are categorized right here um, you kind of look around uh, you got system events, uh, basic stuff like open a folder. Let's do that. Uh, what's the path? Um, so we can go over here, say open. And let's say we want to open uh, my auto hockey folder here. So we do that. Pretty simple. Um, so all I got to do really is just kind of run through all these, see what you want to do, all that. We can save it. And uh, here's what it looks like on the outside. Um, so this is obviously running. I'm going to push F1. It opened on my second monitor, but there is uh, opening that folder. It's pretty easy. You can turn off specific uh, macros within your collection. You know, whatever you want to do. Um, you can go back and edit. So I'm not going to run through every single thing on here. Obviously, just explore on your own. See what's available. Uh, Alpha Manuric, uh That basically is like typing, essentially. So press J, you can change the milliseconds, uh, full press, which just means down, up, key down, key up. So for example, if I wanted to do, maybe I'm playing a video game, uh, you could do that. You can add a delay, uh, which means basically a break, take a, uh, wait a certain amount of time. We could do 5,000 milliseconds, which equals 5 seconds. And then we could uh, take something like this, and... Uh, what was that, J? And instead of that, we'll do up. 
So right here what we're seeing is it's going to hold J down for 5 seconds and then release it. This is useful in video games especially, stuff like that. You can also just clear all if you want to start over. Uh, numpad, uh, basically all these are the same thing as uh, the alphabet here. You got numpad, uh, functions as the F keys, and the modifiers like, uh, you know, modifiers on your keyboard, shift, all that kind of stuff. Uh, navigation, also another thing that you're probably familiar with. You have the full keyboard and mouse button, so you can do like a left click. Uh, you can also drag and drop, so let's say I added a few other things here. Um, I'm like, okay, I actually wanted the order to be slightly different. You can do that, uh, whatever. So there's a lot of stuff you can play around with. You can also record. So with recording, I can do like uh, ASD, push stop. It's going to put all that in there. Now it is adding the sleeps on how fast I did it. So you can always adjust those later if you want it to run faster than what you actually just typed. Or just delete the... Uh, sleep altogether. Um, but just a fair warning, when you do this in video games, sometimes you do need those sleeps, because if you try to do stuff too fast, the game just can't handle it, doesn't recognize what you're doing, uh, stuff like that. If you change your mind, you want to uh, change the F1 key, you just push edit here, and same thing, just record again, and save. So now it's F2. Uh, yeah, I mean that's pretty much it on this side. I just love how simple and easy this uh, macro recorder was uh, by Woodomation. I've never heard of it. Just randomly stumbled across it. Um, so if you guys have any questions, uh, let me know in the uh, comments below. Maybe I'll do a follow-up video eventually, but there's not much to say about this just because it's so simple, so easy. I love it. Um, yeah, um, you can also just real quick to run through some of the extra stuff here. Uh, disable macro output. This is going to disable everything. That way you're not sitting here going click, click, click. If you have a bunch, you can just one stop, click, and boom. Everything gets disabled temporarily. Uh, settings are pretty standard. Launch on startup, that's something you might want. Um, minimize on close. Uh, auto add delay, that you can turn off. That honestly, I kind of... It depends. If I was doing work automation, I'd probably turn that off. Gaming, I would leave it there just because sometimes need those sleeps a um, few other things appearance obviously I'm just happy that they have dark mode because honestly that's the best way to go and they do have a discord uh, their github obviously uh, this is I believe open source let's take a double look on that one actually yeah I guess it is so yeah if you guys play around with this find anything I did not talk about in this video Definitely let me know in the comments below. Like I said, the link to the website in the description. Um, but you can also check here. Uh, macros now work in games. However, we don't support nor induce their use in multiplayer games using them in such contact or contacts as used at your own risk. I like saying that in my videos a lot of times when I do gaming is don't use this for cheating. Use it for quality of life instead in video games. That's not going to affect other players. Um, so I'm glad they put that there. So shout out to these people. All right. If you have any questions, like I said, just hit it down below. And I'll see you all hopefully on the next one. Bye.